Vivaan here. And today we are going to teach you how to smuggle invasive species of African cichlids to the Naburi tribe in the Amazon rainforest. Uh, hey. Wrong channel. So have you ever considered having a fish tank in your house? Have you ever wanted some fish pets in your house? So today we are going to teach you some of the basics of fish keeping. So the complete basic thing for fish keeping long before you determine what fish you want, what type of filtration you want, and all those complicated things, you have to determine what is the tank size you want. This is a 10 gallon tank. It can house quite some species of fish, but not so many. But this is a 20 gallon tank. It can house a lot of species of fish and a lot of different exotic animals. For like instance, even turtles. Yeah. My pet turtle Leo lives in his tank right here. So even though fish keeping is great, it's not always sunshine and rainbows. You can encounter fish keeping diseases and other pro <laughs> Yes, Vivan. You can encounter fish keeping diseases and other problems. And sometimes they are easy to cure and sometimes they are hard. My fish recently got a disease and it's sadly dying. So I didn't want that to happen to anyone else. So this segment of the video is about fish keeping diseases. So we have many kinds of diseases for fish. Do we have monkeys in the house? Anyways, for the sake of today's video, we are going to focus on the white spot disease or ick. This is the most common disease for fish, but you can cure ick or white spot disease by a few simple things. So you can increase the temperature to the maximum point where your fish can actually handle it because these are meant these diseases are meant for colder waters and second you can put many kinds of medicines commonly available in pet stores like the blue anti ick medicine and the white anti ick medicine just make sure you don't use the green one because that sometimes causes cancer in fish So the third segment of today's video is about filtration, what is the most important topic on filtration. No, 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 don't sleep, don't sleep, I'll make it fun for you, promise. So before you understand what is filtration, you need to understand something called the nitrogen cycle. So this is how it goes, when fish poops, like all animals do, the poop creates something called ammonia. This ammonia is very harmful to fish and if a lot of it is there inside a tank, it will kill the fish. But a group of bacteria can neutralize this ammonia and make it into a less harmful chemical called nitrate. Now nitrate is also harmful but much less than ammonia. But 
another group of bacteria convert this nitrate into nitrite which is a very less harmful chemical which can be removed through water changes which are basically when you remove something like 20% of the water without removing the fish or without damaging anything in the tank and put some new clean water to fill that 20% gap that's a basic water change but filtration comes in three forms biological filtration which is the most important which is the bacteria which do the nitrogen cycle mechanical filtration which is also very important which makes the tank look neat and all the disgusting food part particles can go into the filter and chemical filtration is not really necessary so I won't be talking about that in today's video so filters exist because the bacteria need a place to grow and the bacteria don't just freely float on the water in the water so now that i have told you about different kinds of filtration i'm going to tell you about the different ways you can give your tanks filtration for example my 10 gallon tank here runs on a sponge filter which is the cheapest filter ever it is basically just a pump like this one and that filter which costs about 200 rupees or four dollars and this is another filter which it's a really good filter it's an internal filter which does not support a lot of space for bacteria but it does a good job in taking out all the particles which are float floating in your tank just look at all this which it has clumped together and all this tank is pretty clean so i hope you liked today's video on the basics of fish keeping i'm going to make a video soon on the basic fish that you can keep in your fish tank i'm also going to make a lot of videos like this so subscribe to my channel you can click here for a playlist on fish and make sure you watch the world's largest aquarium tour which is just mind blowing video by me and yeah i hope you liked this video click that like button if you did and until the next time peace out